Hello United fans! Exciting news on the horizon as Sir Jim Ratcliffe spearheads a £50 million plus bid to secure an exceptional player for Man United. But first, let's dive into the latest buzz surrounding the club. Borussia Dortmund expressed clear interest in re-signing Jadon Sancho amid his uncertain future at Manchester United. Sancho's heartfelt message to Dortmund and their supportive response suggest mutual interest in a potential reunion. Man United plans to sign Sevilla's Yousef N. Nessery for a cut price fee to bolster their attack. With Sevilla needing funds, N. Nessery could join for around €20 million, Euros, aiding United's push to improve their squad. Ten Hag's future at Man United appears secure despite managerial rumours. Gareth Southgate looms as a potential successor. But for now, Ten Hag remains in charge amid talks of player development and potential signings. Liverpool might miss out on long-term target Goncalo Inacio after appointing Arne Slot over Ruben Amorim. United is prepared to meet Sporting CP's €60 million Euros fee for the defender, leveraging their strong relationship with the Portuguese club. Case Miro, earning £350,000 a week, has bid farewell to Manchester United amid a squad overhaul. Following heavy criticism, his departure to Saudi Arabia is expected freeing up wages and aligning with Sir Jim Ratcliffe's vision. The alleged 2024-25 Man United away kit, resembling a cricket shirt with its large collar and white stripes, has drawn comparisons to Indian Premier League attire, sparking much social media humour and debate. Christian Eriksen's stellar performance against Sweden, setting up a goal and scoring a late winner, earns high praise from Danish media highlighting his potential impact at Euro 2024 amidst uncertain club prospects. Joral Hotto, pursued by Arsenal and Manchester United, reaffirms his dedication to Ajax, rejecting transfer speculations. The 18-year-old aims to continue learning and dreams of winning trophies with the Dutch club. United's attempt to sign Tosin Adarabioyo on a free transfer failed as Chelsea near securing the defender. Despite United's late bid, Adarabioyo has already reached an agreement with Stamford Bridge. Cesc Fabregas suggests Manchester United's long-term target, Yasu Fofana, might opt for AC Milan instead. Despite United's interest, Fabregas hints at Fofana's potential move to the Italian club. Now let's delve into the main news of the day. Manchester United has reportedly made a significant offer for one of the most promising talents in football amidst interest from Liverpool and Real Madrid this summer. The club, alongside Sir Jim Ratcliffe, appears to be in the market for several defenders this season, including a left-back, right-back, and at least one centre-back ahead of the new Premier League campaign. Eric Ten Hag cited injuries as a major issue during the 2023-24 season, with centre-backs frequently sidelined, and both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia missing much of the campaign. Since then, Raphael Varane has announced his departure from the club, and Johnny Evans may see reduced playing time. Names like Jared Branthwaite, Trevo Chalaber, and Jules Kuhn have been linked. But now, a new name has emerged. Teenage centre-back Lenny Euro. According to reports from Spain, Manchester United has made an early move for Euro, tabling a £51 million bid to fend off Liverpool and Real Madrid. Euro 18 has been praised by former coach Paulo Fonseca, who predicts him to be a future superstar. Cesar Arlo described him as exceptional, noting his resemblance to Varane. Euro has just one year left on his contract with Lille, prompting speculation of a summer move. United and Ratcliffe's bid reportedly aims to secure a deal, with Lille keen to sell. This could give United the edge over Real Madrid who may only sign Euro on a free transfer next year. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned!